Magandang araw po muli. Pagpapatuloy po natin ang ating topic, Types of Chi. Number 11 na po tayo. Uh, nutritive versus Defensive Chi. Uh, main function of Defensive Chi is to protect body from attack of exterior pathogenic factor tulad po ng hangin, lamig, init, at dampness. So, warms, moisten, partially nourishes skin and muscle, adjust opening and closing of pores, therefore, regulates sweating, and by so doing, regulates body temperature. Warms muscle, fill up skin, enters space between skin and muscle, opens pores. Yun po yung defensive cheek. So, being diffused under skin, defensive chi comes under control of lungs. Lungs regulate circulation of defensive chi to skin and opening and closing of pores. Kaya kung mahina ang lungs natin, hindi niya magagawang i-distribute yung ating defensive chi. So pag nakakaganon po, madali kang magkaroon ng sakit. Someone prone to frequent colds. Madaling sipunin. So defensive chi circulate outside channels in skin and muscle. Exterior of body or lung defensive chi portion. Yung lungs po, i-diffuse niya yung body fluid to skin and muscles. This fluid mixed with defensive chi so that defensive def, so that deficiency of defensive chi may cause spontaneous daytime sweating because if defensive chi is weak, it fails to hold the fluids in the body. Um, Expl Defensive chi also is spread in middle and lower varner. It is spreads in middle varner as it originates from food chi, produced by stomach and spleen. Essence and original chi is stored in kidney. <clears throat> so plays a role in resistance to exterior pathogenic factors. Thus, defensive chi originates also from essence and original chi Transform from kidney yang, this is another reason why resistance to exterior pathogenic factor is determined by strength of both lung chi and kidney yang. So defensive chi or yung weight chi, it has root in the lower burner, nasa kidney po siya. It is nourished by the middle burner, yung stomach and spleen and is spread outwards in the upper burner sa lungs. It is a coarse form of chi. It circulates outside the channel in the space between skin and muscle. It protects the body from invasion of external pathogenic factors. Yun yung pangharang natin. Siya rin yung nagwa-warm sa ating muscle. It mixes with sweat in the space between skin and muscle, and it regulates the opening and closing of pores. It regulates 50 times in 24 hours during the day and 20, 25 times at night. So, mas, ma, mas konti po sa gabi, ano? Ganun pala yun, no? 50 times. Pag, pag umaga po, <laughs> circulate siya ng 50 times. Kasi gumagalaw po tayo, eh. Kaya siguro ganun na kailangan marami tayong protection. Pag gabi, tulog tayo. Kaya, konti lang yung... Need so, isirpulate. Nag-originate yun pala siya sa ano, sa kidney yang, no, diba? sa essence. Opo. Deficiency of defensive G causes weakening of body's defenses against exterior pathogenic factors. Person will be prone to catching cold. Ito yung madali pong ubuin, konting pagbabago lang ng panahon ano. Frequently, person would always tend to feel easily cold as deficient defensive chi. Fails to warm the skin and muscles. So, pati yung skin po yan, eh, di ba nagda-dry ka kung kulang ka ng defensive chi. Defensive chi circulates 50 times in 24 hours, 25 times during the day, and 25 times during the night. Ay, magkapareho lang. By day, it circulates an exterior of the body. At night, it circulates in the yin organ. Uh, pag gabi naman, sa yin pa siya mag-circulate mag yung ating mga yin organs. Ganun pala ang gawain ng defensive chi. In daytime, defensive chi circulates on exterior and yang superficial channels from greater yang to lesser yang to bright 
yung channel. So, yun nga, in between skin siya pumupunta para i-depend yung katawan. Flow of defensive chi from interior to towards exterior. So, from sa loob ng katawan, papalabas siya. Emerging at inner corner of the eyes, meeting of greater yang, small intestine and bladder channels, open eyes and wake, wakes us up in the morning. So, kung mahina ang chi mo, pwede palang hindi na bumu bumukas yung mata mo. Pag mahina ang chi, yes. yun, yun lagi parang hirap i-open yung eyes. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> At night, defensive chi flows into yin organ, first to kidney, then to heart, lungs, liver, and spleen. So, doon siya magpo-flow pag gabi. Kung mahina ang defensive chi, yun siguro yung ihi ng ihi. <laughs> Kasi konti yung chi pupunta dun sa kidney, nag-weak siya. Lalabas yung tubig sa katawan. Okay. Very good. Thank you po. We learned a lot. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Mildred. So, from uh, foundations, let's proceed to tongue diagnosis. Let's welcome Ma'am Teresita Sumile. Good afternoon po, Ma'am Teresita. Good afternoon po, Dr. Hector and classmates. Welcome po sa tongue diagnosis. And now let's talk about the continuation of the purple tongue. A purple tongue on this size in the chest area indicates blood stasis in the chest, which may include heart or lungs in the myomed biomedical sense, or in women only, the breast. In lung diseases, a purple color in lung diseases, a purple color in the chest area is seen in chronic obstructive pulmon pulmonary disease, such as chronic asthma, bronchitis, or emphysema. In heart diseases, a purple color in the chest area is seen in coronary heart disease. This illustrates the location of the breast or chest area. As we can see in the tongue picture, it is located at the whole size of the anterior third. Okay. In addition, in women, a purple color in the chest breast area may indicate a breast pathology, such as breast lumps, whether benign or malignant. Observation of the breast area in women suffering from carcinoma of the breast is an important prognostic factor because if this area is clearly purple, the prognosis is poor. Whereas if it is not, the prognosis is good. A purple color in the breast area is also sometimes seen in women without any breast pathology. This may indicate the predisposition to breast lumps and one should therefore invigorate blood and eliminate stasis in the breast, even in the absence of symptoms and signs. A purple color in the center of the tongue indicates blood stasis in the stomach, whereas a purple color in the front third indicates blood stasis in the lungs. So this is a picture of a tongue with stasis on the breast or chest area. It has a purple color on the size of the anterior third, okay? Clinical note. In women, we should always observe carefully the breast area also called chest area. In the absence of lung or heart disease in a biomedical sense, the breast area reflects pathology of the breast in women. In particular, 
A purple color of the breast area indicates blood stasis in the breast. This can potentially lead to carcinoma of the breast. However, the emphasis on is on the word potentially. We should never assume that a woman has breast cancer purely on the basis of a purple tongue in the breast area, okay? Nevertheless, if a woman has a purple color in the breast area, which would actively invigorate blood in the breast. To treat blood stasis in the breast with acupuncture, use gallbladder 21, gallbladder 41, and stomach 18. Purple areas on the tongue. If the purple area is on the liver areas, it indicates liver blood stasis or blood stasis in the uterus. If the purple color is on the breast or chest areas, it indicates blood stasis in the heart or breast. If it is on the center, it indicates blood stasis in the stomach. Okay, so this is gallbladder 21. It is located uh, directly above the nipple at the midpoint of the line connecting do 14 at the acclumion. And it is the crossing point in the gallbladder, sanchao and stomach meridians and the young way vessel. Its functions are to activate the meridian, the sense chi, promotes labor, benefits the breast and resolves phlegm. So this is useful in treating blood stasis in the breast area, okay? Next is gallbladder 41. As we can see, it is located on the lateral side of the dorsum of the foot, proximal to the fourth meta metatarsophalangeal joint and the depression lateral to the tendon of the extensor GDT minimi of the foot. It is classified as the shoe stream point of the gallbladder meridian, master point of the diamide vessel, coupled with Sancho 5. And its functions are to move the virtue, benefits the eyes, regulates the diamide vessel, benefits, again, benefits the breast and foot pain. So another useful point in treating blood stasis in the breast. Next is stomach 18. So again, as we can see, it is located on the chest directly below the nipple at the base of the breast in the fifth intercostal space fortune lateral to the anterior medial line. Its functions are benefits the breast, raise the chest, alleviates cough and wheezing. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Mom Teresita. So from tongue diagnosis, let's proceed to diagnosis by interrogation. We are still on feeling of cold, 11. This time we talk about feeling of heat from internal causes. A subjective feeling of heat may be caused by full heat or empty heat of any organ. In full heat, the feeling of heat is more intense than in empty heat. Another difference is that in empty heat, the feeling of heat tends to be more marked in the afternoon or evening. So you would see a patient, um, he, he will, he or she will tell you, why is it that I feel hot when, you know, during afternoon or evening? Yun. Empty heat is characterized by a feeling of heat, especially in the yin areas of the body and particularly in the chest, palms, and soles. Okay. Of course, we base our differentiation between full heat and empty heat um, on other manifestations like thirst, complexion, and of course, and most of all, the tongue. Tongue will be red with a coating in full heat and red without coating in empty heat. Okay, so this table will show us a differentiation between full heat and empty heat. So in full heat, usually the Heat is more intense. 
generalized over the body or in the face. Okay, it's not related to time of day. Mayro intense thirst, pronounced irritability. Complexion is red all over, red tongue, thick, dry yellow coating. The pulse is overflowing and rapid. In empty heat, the heat is less intense and uh, often on the chest, soles, and palms, the yin part. No? Worse in the afternoon and evening, dry mouth with desire to sip drinks, vague anxiety. Redness on the cheekbones or your malar, malar area. Red tongue without coating and uh, floating empty and rapid pulse. Okay. With full heat, the organs that are most often involved are the liver, heart, stomach, and lungs. With empty heat, the organs that are most often involved are kidneys, heart, stomach, and lungs. No. In some cases, a person may feel hot in general, but simultaneously experience cold feet, for example. Therefore, when a patient replies affirmatively to the question, do you have a tendency to feel hot in general? Um, we should not stop our questioning there. No, We should continue to ascertain whether there is any cold feeling in any particular parts of the body. Okay? So, when a patient feels hot, in general, remember to ask about any possible cold feeling in a particular part of the body and vice versa. Thank you very much. And uh, if there are no questions, we will now continue with uh, pulse diagnosis. Again, we bring you Mom Mildred. Scott. We will continue with the kidney. Okay, Paul. Pulse diagnosis. Parang uh, continuation to doc. Left rear position, kidney to. Weak. A weak quality on the left kidney position is extremely common what in men and women, especially after age 40. And it indicates a kidney deficiency. In men, it may be due to excessive sexual activity. Whereas in women, it may be due to having had too many children, too close together, to menorrhagia or to hysterectomy and both men and women. It is open due to overwork. So pag, yung pag nakita natin nag-weak yung pulse. If the le left kidney pulse is weak and intermittent, it indicates a deficiency of kidneys and original chi, and it may due to excessive sexual activity or indeed any level of sexual activity before puberty. If yung pag fine naman po, a fine pulse on the kidney position indicates deficiency of the original chi and essence. In men, this may be due to excessive sexual activity including masturbation. Ay, nakaka to pala yung doc. If this pulse is fine, hidden and wiry, it indicates inflammation in the large intestine. So yun po, pag nagmamasturbate po ang mga lalaki na apektuhan yung kidney, chi, pwede po mag-deficient. Overflowing. An overflowing quality here is usually related to the intestine rather than kidneys. It indicates heat in the large intestine. If it is overflowing on both left and right kidney position, it may indicate prostatic hypertrophy. Paghalo naman po, halo quality on the kidney position is usually seen in diabetes when the patient has been in insulin for many years. So halo ang kanyang false. Left rear position, ito yung large intestine po and kidney. Floating, large intestine pattern with strength, kidney pattern. Without strength, dump heat in the large intestine. So, lagi po natin tanda, pag may strength, sa kidney po yun. Pag without, sa large intestine. Floating, fine, wiry, rapid, may blood heat affecting uterus. Floating, wiry, Danger of miscarriage. Pagbuntis. 
So, floating rapid po yung nararamdama natin sa pulso. Pag dip naman po, yung kidney yung deficiency ito. Severe kidney deficiency. Deep, fine, weak. Severe kidney yung deficiency. Pag deep, fine, weak is low, dampness in the large intestine. Pag deep, full, slippery, or distal side, weak, large intestine. Pag deep, weak, slippery on distal side, Slippery naman po, dampness in kidney and bladder. Dampness in large intestine, slippery, deep, full on distal side. Pag weak large intestine, chi, ang mararamdaman natin ay slippery, deep, and weak. Pag ay, may amenorrhea, slippery on proximal side and weak heart pulse. Pag buntis po siya. Uh, slippery side and strong heart pulse. Pag weak naman, kidney deficiency. Deficiency on the, of the original chi. Weak and intermittent. Kapag fine, deficiency of the original chi in essence. Inflammation of the large intestine. Fine, hidden, wiry. Pag overflowing po ang pulse, ay meron siyang init sa kanyang large intestine. Prostatic hypertrophy. Ang mararamdaman po ay overflowing on both left and right rear position. So pag halo po, meron siyang diabetes. Thank you po. Thank you very much, Ma'am Mildred. Next, we talk about differential diagnosis. And let's listen to Ma'am Teresita Sumile. Good afternoon po, Ma'am Teresita. Good afternoon po ulit, Dr. Hector and classmates. Welcome po sa TCM Foundations, 185 days na po tayo. Liver fire generating wind. Etiology. Long-standing anger, resentment, frustrations, excessive alcohol, sweet, fatty foods, red meat. Underlying accompany accompanying pathology, we have stagnation of liver chi transforming into liver fire. Signs and symptoms are tremor, irritability, easily angered, sudden onset deafness, and or tinnitus, temporal headache, dizziness, red face and eyes, thirst, bitter taste, bitter taste, dream disturbed sleep, constipation, dark yellow urine, nosebleed, vomiting blood, and coughing blood. Pulse is wiry and rapid. Tongue is red with redder sides with dry yellow coating. Treatment principle is clear liver drain fire, full blood, extinguish wind. Acupuncture treatment, we have liver 2, clears liver fire, GB20, ascending liver chi, I'm sorry, subdues ascending liver chi, gallbladder 13, subdues ascending liver chi, uh, gallbladder one, benefits the eyes, clears heat, gallbladder six, extinguishes wind, clears heat, spleen six, harmonizes liver and calms the shen. Liver three, courses the liver, extra point, clears liver fire, LI11, subdues ascending liver chi, Gallbladder 8 benefits head, alleviates pain. Do 24 extinguishes wind, comes shen, and liver 1 clears heat from the blood. Okay, yun lang po. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Monteresita.
Next, we go to acupuncture patterns and practice. The, today, we will take up insomnia. Okay. Let's... Insomnia means insufficient duration of sleep or sleep of poor quality. So even if you have enough sleep, but your, the quality is poor, that is still insomnia. In mild cases, it may be difficulty in falling asleep or frequent waking from sleep. In severe cases, it may be inability to fall asleep all night. In general, insomnia may be caused by exogenous illness or by internal injury. Exogenously induced insomnia most commonly occurs during the course of the various illnesses of heat. Endogenously induced insomnia is primarily due to deficiency. So to, uh, for this, for our purpose, we will talk about, we will emphasize endogenously induced insomnia. Etiology and pathology. A weak constitution or a chronic illness can cause insomnia. So the constitution may be inherently weak or the constitution was weakened by illness. Most illnesses that weaken the constitution do so through injury to the heart and the spleen, through impairment of the generation of chi and blood, through failure of nourishment of the heart, or through blood depletion. Exhaustion of kidney yin, flaring of heart fire, and disturbance of the mind can also cause insomnia. The passions are among the common causes. So, kung mahilig tayo mag-brooding, excessive brooding injures the heart and spleen. So, this will result in failure of heart nourishment. Sudden and violent fright. Oh, merong nakaka-relate niyan ganyan. <laughs> May lead to deficiency of heart and gallbladder chi. And so, this will lead to the production of phlegm and heat. Okay? Pent-up rage impairs the liver, conducing to stagnation of liver chi and its transformation into liver fire. And liver fire, in turn, can disturb the mind and induce insomnia. An immoderate diet, excessive consumption of spices, fats, and sweets over a long period of time, kaya itigil na, no? can impair the spleen and stomach. These organs may fail in their transportation and transformation functions. So there will be dampness that will accumulate. If dampness is permitted to gel, so pag nag-gel po yung dampness, you will now have phlegm. And phlegm will give rise to heat. So phlegm and heat together can cause obstruction in the middle jaw and upward disturbance of the mind leading to insomnia. Excessive resting with too little activity rest and rest lang, can lead to spleen chi deficiency. So what will happen is the spleen will fail in its TNT functions. The essence of food and drinks become unavailable so you cannot generate chi and blood. So nourishment of the heart will fail. This also leads to insomnia. So napaka-sensitive po talaga ng heart, no? So key points of analysis. Now let's talk about types of insomnia. The clinical features of insomnia are related to its cause, its severity, and its duration. If the patient is able to fall asleep but readily awakens, is Ennis then unable to fall asleep again? Just like my patient no? um, last week, uh, just last Tuesday, a uh, Monday pala. Uh, it is mostly due to insufficiency of both the heart and the spleen. If difficulty falling asleep is associated with restlessness, palpitation of the heart, aftu sores in the mouth, and mouth dryness in the night, it is due to flaming fire in yin deficiency. So if you look at the tongue, wala na pong coating, red na po. If the patient falls asleep readily but wakes up with fright, and it's generally fearful and irascible with frequent sighing. This is insufficiency of the heart and gallbladder. 
or to blood insufficiency and liver hyperactivity. Visceral organ affected. Because different visceral organ dysfunction can produce insomnia, the associated symptoms also differ. For example, if insomnia is accompanied by anorexia, loss of taste, postprandial, epigastric and abdominal distension, no? loose feces, sallow complexion, foul eructation or acid regurgitation, this is due to illness of the spleen and stomach. If insomnia is associated with frequent dreams, dizziness, headache, forgetfulness, this is due to illness of the heart. Okay, deficiency or strength or deficiency or excess. Insomnia may be of the deficiency or strength type. The deficiency type, this is chi and blood deficiency. So the heart loses its function of nourishment or due to yin deficiency with strong fire. This type is commonly associated with restlessness. The strength type is mainly due to phlegm heat causing upward disturbance. There will be each agitation, irritability, irascibility, a bitter taste in the mouth and a dry throat, constipation, and dark urine. Acupuncture treatment. Oh, dito tayo, ano, medyo masaya, no? Because it is quite effective in treating insomnia. So the most commonly selected acupoints are favorites, heart 7, spleen 6, bladder 15, bladder 23, kidney 6, kidney 1. Actually, kahit hindi insomnia yung pinunta sa iyo ng pasyente, di ba? Do you agree? The patient will always tell you, wow, my sleep was so good. O, oh, di ba? Depending on the clinical circumstances, some acupoints may be omitted and others included. So if you have heart blood insufficiency, select CV12, CV6, Spleen 6, GV20, Heart 5. Apply tonification or reinforcing method, add moxa. For blazing fire due to yin deficiency, select heart 5, pericardium 6, heart 8, and spleen 6. Apply reducing method, retain needles for 20 minutes. For stomach disharmony, select CB12, PC6, spleen 4, stomach 40, stomach 44, heart 7. Insert with mild reinforcing and reducing method. For hyperactivity of the liver and the gallbladder fire, select gallbladder 14, bladder 18, bladder 19, and liver 3. Insert with the reducing method. Reserve the needles for 20 minutes. Acupuncture treatment should be applied two hours before sleep. So let's go to a case study one. Doc, may Be ano lang po ako dun sa first na diniscuss nyo. Napakalaga po palang tanongin pag may insomnia, kung ano pa yung ibang nararamdaman niya habang may insomnia siya. Ano? Opo. Baka yung habang may insomnia po, pag parang lagi siyang gutom o parang Opo. nadudumi, talaga ano po pala, isplin na may problema, kaya siya nag insomnia yeah. Pag ano naman, pag na, lagi namang nananaginip, hmm. itatanong din natin na, pag di ka nakakatulog, ano bang nangyayari? Eh, lagi po ako nananaginip. So heart, babatay po dun sa diniscuss yes. nyo. Yes. Yeah. Kaya nga ano eh, kaya nakakatuwa ito. Eh, kaya I would... Nahihimay-himay natin. Yes. Uh, so, mabuti na lang na uso ang YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Case study one. Patient was a 38-year-old female, blue-collar worker. Meron siyang insomnia, palpitation, forgetfulness, dizziness, lassitude, anorexia, scant menses. Tongue pale, thin white coating, pulse, Depletive, ibig sabihin weak and soft. Diagnosis, insomnia due to insufficiency of heart and spleen. So very easy. So alam na natin. Deficiency of both chi and blood so that nourishment of the heart-mind failed. Therapeutic principle, augment chi, generate blood, sedate the mind. Case study two. This time we have a 36-year-old male Meron siyang insomnia for several years. Sometimes unable to sleep at all through the entire night. Matindi ito, di ba? May mga pasyente akong ganito, as in. 
he frequently had recurrent after sores in the mouth. So may kinalaman talaga yung mga nakikita natin. Kaya dapat talaga kompleto po talaga yung examination. Di ba, Ma'am Mildred? Opo. Uh, it is not enough na yung insomnia lang tinitreat mo. You have to know what is causing the insomnia. And yes, on the tongue. Okay. In addition, meron siyang dizziness and headaches. At the time of presentation, he had much thirst. We desire to drink large amounts. Tongue was red with scant coating. Pulse was thread-like and rapid. Diagnosis, insomnia due to disharmony of the heart and kidney with deficiency fire flaming upward. Therapeutic principle, nourish yin, suppress the yang, harmonize the heart and the kidney. Thank you, Paul, very much. I hope Ito. So, you see, very effective po talaga yung acupuncture. Actually, kahit hindi insomnia yung pinunta, minsan nakakalimutan ng patient. Pagbalik niya, ay ang ganda. Sasabihin nila, ang ganda ng tulog. Yung pala, yes. Uh -huh. Na-energize na yung mga organs niya. Yes. Uh -huh. Kaya kahit nakakatulog siya, you have to talk about the quality ng sleep. No? Minsan kasi, ano eh, um, Kulang pa rin kahit ano, tulog na ng tulog. Okay, so let's go now to signs and symptoms. Let's call on Ma'am um, Okay, sino ba yung signs and symptoms? Let's call on uh, Ma'am Mildred. Yeah. Yes, Doc. Diba? Toothache. Sign and symptoms. Number 68 na po tayo. Toothache. Ayan, maraming nakakaranas nito eh. Ang toothache, toothache obviously exclude causes such as abscesses or root canal problems. Stomach fire. Toothache, especially on the lower teeth, mouth ulcers, cold breath, intense thirst with a desire to drink or drink cold liquids. Bleeding gums, burning epigastric pain, mental restlessness, dry mouth, dry stool, sour regurgitation, nausea, vomiting soon after eating, a feeling of heat, sour regurgitation, tongue red with a thick, dry, dark yellow coating, deep, full, rapid pulse. So, yun, may relation po siya sa toothache pag may stomach fire. Damp heat in the stomach, toothache, swollen gums, sticky taste, thirst with no desire to drink, a feeling of fullness and pain of the epigastrium, a feeling of heaviness, facial pain, stuffed, no stuffed nose or thick sticky nasal discharge, nausea, a feeling of heat, dull yellow complexion, red tongue with sticky yellow coating, Slippery rapid pal. So, puro, uh, puro paano ng dump heat sa stomach. So, nagkakaroon ng toothache. Pag stomach kin deficiency naman with empty heat, ang toothache po ay may mouth ulcers. Dry mouth with a desire to drink in small sip. Kasi with, ano siya eh, stomach kin deficiency. Dal or burning epigastric pain. Tapos may pakirandam po siya ng heat paghapon na. Nagda-dry mouth din, tsaka yung throat. Especially sa hapon. Tapos nakakaramdam siya ng uh, pagkauhaw. Pero konti lang iniinom. Small sip. Ang dumi po niya ay dry. Matigas. Slight feeling of fullness after eating. Tapos sa gabi ay eh, nagpapawis. Yung pipan heat. Bleeding gums. Red tongue or red centre only. Without coating in the centre. Centre floating, empty and rapid false. Dahil mababa ang kanyang yin. Stomach and splinchy deficiency. So, ang sakit ay dal toothache uh, that comes and goes. Yung gums po niya ay weak, poor appetite, slight abdominal distension after eating, tiredness, residue, pale complexion, weakness of limb, loose stool, uncomfortable feelings in the gastrium, lack of taste sensation, pale tongue empty pulse kasi is Stomach splinchy deficiency. Halos hindi na nagpapunction yung cheek niya. 
heat in the lard and intestine. Ito naman po makikita natin ano. Severe toothache, especially of the upper teeth. Uh, sa taas naman po yan. Tapos meron siyang mouth ulcers. Tumudugo din po ang kanyang gums. Ang dumi ay constipated with dry stool. Pag nilabas niya, burning sensation. Ha? Burning sensation in the mouth. Tapos may dry tang po siya. Burning and swelling in anus. Scanted dark urine. Thick yellow or brown or black. Dry tang coating. Full rapid pulse. Heat in the large intestine po yun. Pag dump heat naman sa large intestine, ang toothache po, especially of the upper teeth. So pag large intestine po, ang kadalasang sumasakit ay yung taas na ano na ngipin. Thirst with no desire to drink kasi may dump eh. May mouth ulcer po siya, tapos ay sticky taste. Abdominal pain that is not really by bowel movement. Kahit nagdumi na siya, masakit pa rin. <clears throat> Diarrhea, mucus, and blood in the stool. So may dugo-dugo. Offensive odor of stool. Burning in the anus. Scanty dark urine. Fever. Sweating that does not discrete, dis decrease the fever. Kahit nagpawis na siya, hindi mo mababa ang lagnat. A feeling of heat. A feeling of heaviness of the body and limbs. Tapos yung tangpo niya red. Tapos sticky yellow coating pag tinignan natin. Ang pulso po niya ay slippery rapid pulse. Kasi dump heat. Pag hit naman po sa spleen at saka sa heart, ang sakit ng ipin ay magkakaroon po ng bleeding gums. So, red lips, mapulang-mapula talaga yung labi. Tapos nakakaroon siya ng palpitation. Tapos thirst, mouth and tongue ulcer. So, hindi lang yung, yung lips niya, ano, pati yung dila. Mental restlessness, feeling agitated. At hindi rin makatulog. Dream disturb sleep dahil involved nga yung heart. Feeling of heat, yung face niya ay red, nakakakat, lasa siya ng bitter taste kahit wala siyang kinain. May, meron siyang burning epigastric or abdominal pain. Tapos nakakaramdam siya ng parang sobrang gutom. Yung red tip ng ilong po ay dry. Ah, red tip of the nose, yung dulo ng ilong ay mapula. Yung lips niya dry. Siyempre yung dumi niya dry din. Kung titignan natin yung tang red with dry yellow coating, ang pulse po niya ay overflowing rapid pulse. And heat in the skin and the heart. Pag invasion of external wind naman, dami pa lang pinanggagaling yung toothache ka, no? Pag may toothache ang aversion to cold, fever, stiff neck, occipital headache, tapos may sneezing ka, other symptoms and signs, including those of the tongue and pulse, depend on whether it is wind cold or wind heat. So pag wind cold naman sa brain, severe toothache extending to the brain after an invasion of external wind that has not been cleared, purple tongue po ang makikita natin. So sa brain na pumunta yung wind. Adi, yun po yung sinasabing may hangin sa utak. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Totoo pala, ano, Dok, may hangin sa utak. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Mildred. So at least now we would know what to do pag may toothache. So unless kung talagang may nakita kang mga abscess na kailangan talaga dentista na. So most cases that we see, wala namang problema yung ngipin. But um, the first consideration is ano, uh, may heat sa stomach. So yes, po. Kahit po pala walang ano-ano, wala siyang sira sa ngipin, talagang pwedeng sumakit ang ngipin dun sa mga binasa natin na yun. Totoo. Actually, na-experience ko yan noon. Ngayon, alam ko na. Okay. So, maraming so, hindi salam. kailangan, hindi kailangan, Dok, pag may sakit sa ngipin, patanggal agad ang ngipin. <laughs> yes. Kasi wala naman butas. Kailangan turuan ng mga, ay, sa bagay, kailangan may bubunutan. Okay, anyway. Opo. Uh -huh. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Mildred. We will now proceed to the last but a very important topic and we will request Ma'am Teresita Sumile to present it. Ma'am Teresita, good afternoon. Good afternoon again, Dr. Hector and classmates. Identification of patterns and treatment sa asthma <clears throat> In between attacks, 
This refers to periods of time when asthma attacks are very infrequent or when the asthma is controlled by the occasional use of inhalers. At this stage, some asthma attacks are typically elicited by exposure to cats, dogs, pollen, or dust, causing wheezing, breathlessness, and tightness of the chest. Now we have clinical manifestations. In lung chi deficiency, clinical manifestations are sweating, pale face, weak voice, prone to catching colds, sneezing, runny nose, shortness of breath, attacks of asthma elicited by pollen or dust, allergic rhinitis. The pulse is empty. In lung chi and yang yin deficiency, clinical manifestations are attacks of asthma at night, tightness of the chest, wheezing, dry cough, dry throat, weak voice, night sweating, tiredness, prone to catch colds, pale face, and palpitations. The tongue is dry, slightly red in the lung area, and the pulse is floating and empty. Now in lung chi and kidney yang deficiency with predominance of the latter, clinical ma manifestations are asthma attacks worse at night, tightness of the chest, chilliness, edema of the face, tiredness, backache, depression, and husky voice. As we look at the tongue, it is pale and the pulse is weak, deep, and slow. In lung chi and kidney yang deficiency with predominance of the former, clinical manifestations are daily sweating, infrequent attacks of asthma, chilliness, backache, frequent pale urination, pale face, and tiredness. The tongue is pale and the pulse is deep, weak. Now, in lung chi and kidney yang deficiency, pronounced cold, clinical manifestations are infrequent attacks of asthma elicited by exposure to cold, wheezing, chilliness, frequent pale urination, tiredness, and depression. Tongue is pale and wet. Pulse is deep, weak, and slow. In lung yin and stomach yin deficiency with dryness and some empty heat, clinical manifestations are mild attacks of asthma at night, dry cough, dry throat, restlessness on exertion, slight night sweating. Tongue is red without coating in the front part. Pulse is floating empty on the right front position. Okay. In lung yin deficiency, no dryness and no empty heat. So clinical manifestations are same as above, but with fever symptoms of dryness. In lung and kidney yin deficiency, clinical manifestations are chronic asthma with infrequent attacks that usually occur at night, wheezing, breathlessness on exertion, dry throat, night sweating, backache, tinnitus, dry cough, and has five pump heat. Tongue is red and without coating in the front part. Pulse is floating and empty. In lung chi and kidney yang deficiency with internal cold, clinical manifestations are chronic asthma with infrequent attacks occurring mostly in daytime, chilliness, wheezing, backache, frequent pale urination, edema of uncles. Tongue is pale and wet, and the pulse is deep, weak, and slow. Pinampo, thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Mom Teresita. Anybody would like to share anything? Okay, so grabe yung asthma noong haba. So, thank you very much for joining.